So this first video is for the absolute beginner or starter to Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna assume you know absolutely nothing about Illustrator, so if you're a complete beginner, I will walk you through some of the tools and features as we encounter them. If you're a bit more experienced and familiar with Illustrator, you might wanna skip this first video because this first one's all about setup. We will be dealing with things like the layers panel, how to import your photo or sketch into Illustrator, and kind of just do a brief walkthrough of the selection tool and features like fill and stroke. So, if you're still with me, here we go. Okay, here we are. We are in Illustrator and we have our character from the previous video all set in where we left off at. So let's assume you know next to nothing or very little and hopefully you got Illustrator launched. But let's go up here to File and then select New. When you do that, you will get this dialog panel that shows you all the new document panel I should say and shows you some of uh, the most common preset artboards. If you don't see that you have saved mobile web print select print and from that let's select tabloid to give us a little extra drawing room. So then over here on the left side you have some presets untitled six double click that or just touch that and it highlights it and you can name your document whatever you like. I'm going to name mine character one. Underneath that we have uh, some unit of measurement. Mine is set to points. Yours could be, I think it defaults to points, but if it's set at something else, you can leave it. I'm going to set mine to pixels. And then over here in orientation, the default is portrait, but I'm going to go over here to landscape to give me a little extra width to draw on if I need it. Um, and so, so I'm going to select there. Then after that, Everything, you don't have to worry about the artboards or the bleeds for this one. We're just going to click create our new document and we have a new blank canvas. So hopefully you were able to digitize your sketch, whichever method you like. I used an iPhone and just took a picture with my camera and sent it over via AirDrop to my laptop. But you can email it to yourself. You can text it to yourself. However you get it on your computer. Just get it there, and once you do, and it's on your computer, you can get it into Illustrator by going to File, and then midway through, go to Place. Then from there, you'll have to navigate to your the location of your image. I kept mine on the desktop, so it's easy to get, so I'm going to select Desktop, and then I get this list of things on my desktop. I name my photo Series 1 Doodle Photo, so I'm going to select that. Down here, just make sure link is selected so we can link to your image. You can embed it, it doesn't really matter, but I have link and then hit place. Then without clicking, because if you click on the artboard, you're gonna drop your image and if it's a large scan, it's gonna fill your window, but hopefully you didn't. If you have this little preview icon of what you're about to drop on there, this is where you should be. If you already dropped it and it took your whole window, you can just delete it and then replace it and then get back to where I'm at. So I'm just gonna click and drag. And when I do that, I get this little blue box that shows me generally the size or the area that I'm gonna fill. And when I get to an area that I feel is the size I'd like to be drawing it, I'm just gonna let go and then it drops my photo proportionately onto the area that I clicked and dragged to. So once you get there, let's go over to this panel over here on the far right side. Now if you don't see that, you can go to Windows and then go to Workspace. And then the workspace I'm on is Essentials. And if I just can hold that for you without flicking that around, you can select Essentials. But if you don't see, say you're already on Essentials and it looks nothing like that, go down here to Reset Essentials and it'll reset it to the default and you'll get these windows, these panels here. The one I'm most curious for, or the most I'm, I'm interested in is the layers panel. Let's go ahead and click that. So layers works exactly how it sounds. I'm gonna, if I hover over this one, this little paper icon that has a folded edge, click that and I get a new layer. So again, it, sound, it works exactly how it sounds. So imagine each layer is a piece of paper and if I draw on the first piece of paper, 
And then I take another piece of paper, put it on top of that and draw on top of that. Whatever things I draw on those pieces of paper stays on those pieces of paper. So if I continue that process four or five pages high, each layer has different things that I doodle on top. Layers works exactly like that. For this instance, we have two layers, layer one and layer two. So let's go ahead and double click our layer one, which is layer two, I should say, which we're gonna draw on. So once I double click that, I will get this highlighted dialog box and I can rename it then. And I'm gonna rename mine artwork. Again, you can name yours whatever you like. Then I'm gonna go and click layer one to select that. Double click it again and I get the layer options box, which gives me the same options, just with a little bit more options here down here. Um, I'm going to change layer one to photo or scan or whatever it is that you like. Click OK and you, now you can see it has a new name. So with photo selected, I'm going to go over here to this little eye icon and what that does is it toggles visibility as my helper tells me here. If I turn this off and on, you'll see that it, the photo appears and disappears. So that's one way I can hide stuff without deleting it. If I go in this little area between the preview image and the eye, eye icon, if I select that, I get this little lock, and that locks my layer so I can't draw, delete, or move things around, which is what we want to do because we're going to draw over this, and we want to keep the same position as best we can. So with that locked, I'm going to select the next layer so I can draw on that layer. Um, and which is artwork, and now we are all set to start drawing.